Hello trophy hunters. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can get the flamethrower trophy. Now that is for setting an entire team on fire using Fuego's special car called Cerebus in an online match. Now you have to set an entire team on fire. So you can do this in an 8v8 mode and there's only eight other people on the other team you have to set on fire, but that's still a pretty monumental task. You can't get this in Mayhem because there's technically 15 other people on the other team. However, if you play Gridfall, even though it's a 16 player match, when you die and get knocked out, you no longer are gonna be in the game. So eventually it's gonna get down to a 1v1 situation. So you will have just one person on the other team. And that is when you can get the flamethrower trophy. Also, this is how you get the no escape trophy with the Ratu's special ability. That's the countdown one. So I'm gonna just play a match of Gridfall here. I am going to set it up so I can have my car. I'm gonna activate it once there's one other person left. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get my car and play the game, try to knock people out. Because one thing that typically will happen is you will have two or three or four people at the very end, in which case it's gonna be very difficult to set all of them on fire. So I'm gonna to try to do my best to, to thin the herd here and eventually we'll get down to 1v1. Now this is gonna be uh, made a little bit more challenging for me because when I get to my 1v1 situation, I'm gonna be up against Shift. And Shift has a special ability where he can go invisible. And that is gonna make it a lot more difficult for me once I get to the very end. But first things first, you gotta make it to the very end. So I'm out of my car here trying to collect red crystals so I can get my breaker quicker. And I can call my car, but I'm not going to call it until the very end. When you're on the ground, make sure you don't get run over. So to set someone on fire, once we get to that point, once I call Cerebus, uh, my special car, my car breaker, I'm going to uh, set the other person, the remaining person on fire. Now, in order to do that, again, he has to be the last person remaining. And there is one little issue when you're going for this trophy, because even if it's just 1v1, if you have recently knocked out players still in the lobby, the game counts them as enemies on the other team. So you have to make sure that it's just 1v1 and there is no straggling players left in the lobby. Once I call my car, you will see, I will check the scoreboard and make sure there's just two people, me and one other person in there. And then to set him on fire, I'm just going to trigger Cerebus. That'll send flames spreading out around my car. And anytime I slam into another opponent, it will set them on fire. That is how I'm gonna do it. Again, it's gonna be a little difficult because my opponent is gonna be invisible, but I'm gonna be able to anticipate his move anyways. So you can see I got my car breaker ready. I have two rivals still in this arena. Now there's just one. So I'm gonna call the car. I'm gonna check the scoreboard. There's five people. So there are four other people on the other team. I can't, now there's three. And I'm gonna check again briefly. And uh, there's still some people in the lobby. So I'm just gonna try to hide. Now I mentioned earlier, my opponent was shift. He just went invisible, which is gonna make it very difficult for me to track him down. And you can see it's just me and him. Now I'm just going to activate my flamethrower ability. However, I don't know where he's at. So I can see he hit me there. So I'm just gonna go back to the other side and keep going back and forth. I'm gonna eventually get him to just commit to going head on with me. And when they're invisible, you can actually kind of faintly see an outline when they get real close to you. So I'm gonna set the uh, L1 flames and then slam forward. Right about here, I saw him, so he's coming at me. I'm going to go to the other side and, and kind of lure him back to me. Again, if you're playing against anyone other than Shift, this is going to be a heck of a lot easier. So there we go. I saw him coming at me. I anticipated it, actually. Kind of goaded him into that. But that's how you get the Flamethrower Trophy, guys. Make sure there is no one else in the lobby. Play on Gridfall, and you should hopefully be okay. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys soon.